petarlo, petarlo. We got petalos in here. Everyone, what's going on with the firecrackers, man? I don't get the firecrackers thing. It's not even July the 4th. What's going on? That's what happens when you live in the city. <laughs> this is so hard. I don't know why. I can do this in my head so good. Kip Fragrance back again with another review, guys. Thank you for coming. Welcome back to the channel. I hope that you're doing well. And today we're gonna be talking about top five Mancera fragrances in my collection for this summer that I can't wait to tell you about. These are amazing for the summer and I know that you're gonna want to at least try them out or give them a check out once we go through this review process. All right guys, I'm gonna roll my music and I'm gonna come right back to tell you all about these Mancera fragrances that I know and love. <laughs> All right, guys, welcome, welcome back. And so, you know, after that long um, pause uh, that I had, I have five fragrances that I've been, you know, carefully selecting uh, because I know you guys love hearing about the Mancera niche fragrance house. And so I wanted to bring something for this summer that was relevant towards the season that we're in. And summer just began this past Sunday. I know other reviewers are, you know, well in their other fragrances and they're talking about so many other things. Do that. Um, um, but nonetheless, I digress. I want to talk about today about a few of the fragrances that are in my collection that I think they're worth checking out. And they're listed from my top, you know, from, from my fifth on down. Uh, no special mentions. I think there are other Mancera fragrances that are not, you know, that I have in my collection that are not suited for the summer. But these I definitely do. And I think the first two are going to be a little bit of a surprise for no, you. Might not, my number one out of this list. All right. And not number one that I like. I think my last one is the one I like the best. So I'm going to leave that one. I'm actually, I'm wearing that one tonight. But this one here is no slouch. I have the fragrance on dry down and so I'm not gonna show bottles I'm just gonna smell and uh, I have it on dry down this is Mancera gold incense okay now this fragrance you wouldn't think to wear in the summer just by the name because it's incense and incense is not typically a summer fragrance um, but this is light this is you know if it's incense it's in the lighter sense of it uh, in the enveloping sense um, not in the, you know, stink up a room kind of a sense. Now, incense is never stinking up anything, but, you know, it's not that type of fragrance where it just, you know, takes over the whole room. I think red tobacco is one of those fragrances where, you know, you'll definitely leave a scent trail behind. Gold incense uh, has pink pepper and bergamot at the very top and mandarin as well. And it just makes this fragrance at the very beginning uh, sharp but not edgy like maybe a Sauvage is you know super edgy uh, I think this is it makes it sharp and bright uh, it definitely makes you wonder why they called it incense because it's there's nothing in there like that and I think that's more on account of the pink pepper uh, that this fragrance list in their uh, fragrance notes uh, in the middle notes um, I think you have uh, uh, more of the violet jasmine uh, you know flower floral notes in there um, that definitely you know come across it, it, this this does tend to come across a little bit more feminine on account of those notes but it's not overpowering I think any guy can wear this fragrance and pull it off and not feel that he's wearing uh, a female fragrance per se um, I know that for the summer you know us guys want to you know want to wear something clean nice um, you know projection and this will definitely do it when should you wear gold incense I think you can wear gold incense in a nice summer breezy night even though it's warm uh, you can pull this off because of the fruity uh, citrus notes in there are 
going to be lasting throughout the fragrance uh, development of this of this uh, beautiful masterpiece that Mancera has us here. This is what I like about Mancera. They mix everything up, they know how to blend it, and they definitely knew what they were doing. They, they definitely thought this one through, and this has coffee as well. Um, I, I slightly smell it in there, but I think that's why I like this fragrance. Now, it's not a heavy uh, coffee fragrance at all by any means. You have vanilla in here, you have sandalwood as well on the base, uh, you have some white musk, uh, and as it dries down, it just gets even better. I think you could pull this off in a nice windy summer night as you're wearing lighter colored clothes and uh, you you have your drink and you know, you're talking to other people and you just want something that is going to make you relax. Summer for me is something about relaxing and this fragrance makes me relax. So number one on the list for me, Mancera Gold Incense. Number two on this list is uh, a fragrance that I think you wouldn't, um, you'd be surprised to, maybe not surprised, but you know, again, Mancera tends to be deep and rich type fragrances. Uh, and I think that's the key factor here with the performance. Uh, they tend to put a lot of, you know, ingredients in there to make it last, to make it rich. And this is definitely, this one here is definitely one that I recommend. Now this one I recommend, so if you're going to the office, but no one's going to the office right now, but I've worn this to the office, and it's Mancera at Oud Blue Notes. Mm, 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 this is good. And so, at Oud Blue Notes, it's something you might not be thinking that is good for the summer, but you'd be surprised. This comes out to be, I mean, you got bergamot in here, you got all the citrus notes at the top, and then you have some, I don't know, some saltiness in the middle there, which makes this fragrance come out a little bit, uh, a little semi-aquatic, in my opinion. And so, you know, because of the leather and vanilla and some of the sandalwood in there, um, am I wrong about that? Maybe no, maybe yes. You know, because of the darker amber, and leather notes at the bottom of the pyramid here, you're definitely gonna think, because you read it, you think it's not gonna be a freshy one or one to wear good all summers. But both of these fragrances here that uh, Gold Incense and Aoud Blue Notes, I would wear in the same occasion. Um, definitely windy, you know, warm, windy outside weather. Definitely you're going to turn heads with this one. This is not your Sauvage, this is not your uh, Versace Dylan Blue, this is not anything like that whatsoever, or Versace or Fresh, or you know, some of these other designer fragrances that are great for the summer, nothing wrong with them, but this is definitely a head turner because it's, there's nothing like it out there like this. And so you have a little bit of the sweetness at the bottom that also takes a, you know, just kind of gets darker at the bottom end, but it's not overly sweet and it definitely sticks around and it feels fresh and salty all throughout the fragrance journey of this one. I love uh, Blue Notes. I, I wear it on very special occasions in the summer. You know, if I'm wearing something, again, lighter color, I tend to want to wear something like this. And definitely when I'm looking for the close encounters where I know that this is definitely going to hook in uh, the attention of that other loved one that may be with you during this time, uh, as it is in my case. So, this is definitely good. I think I like that because I always keep her guessing. And if you wanna keep someone guessing, what is that? This is definitely one of those fragrances. This and Gold Incense is definitely going to be one of those Manceras where they're gonna wanna keep smelling you. And, um, Definitely a freshie that I recommend checking out for this summer. I would blue notes. So for num my number three in the list, I have Mancera Black Gold. Now you have here, um, as you probably can see behind me, Black Gold here is something that um, is surprising. Uh, the name Black Gold doesn't lend itself to what I'm smelling here. You have lavender here at the very top. You have some 
citrus fruits. You're definitely getting some sweetness in here. You do have a floral aspect to, uh, to this fragrance, but again, you know, in these five fragrances, you know, you have a floral aspect that's not overpowering. It's never leaning towards too much of a masculine or, you know, or too much on the feminine side. You're right at the middle here. You're gonna feel very comfortable in wearing this. I think on account of the lavender and the citrus notes, it makes it bright and nice and you feel confident as you wear this fragrance, okay? Now I can totally see you on a, you know, on a lighter white shirt as you're wearing this. If you're wearing black pants, uh, you know, more professional setting, or if you're gonna have uh, a night out where, you know, you're gonna have an indoor party that's gonna be air conditioning, black gold is definitely gonna suit you. You're gonna feel confident if you're in that scenario or if you're amongst people in a meeting or whatever you're gonna be doing during the summer. I think this is definitely one to wear during the day. It's more of a day fragrance for me because it remains fresh. And if it's if it's hot out and you have something that smells fresh and bright, it makes you feel cooler. Not that it will actually make you cooler, but it makes you feel cooler. And something like this is certainly something that can actually let you feel confident, even if it's a you know a hot one out there. Definitely very professional. I think black gold worth a check out. So for my number two, Aoud Lemon Mint, okay? Let me tell you, even though this says lemon mint, I, there's no mint in here. <laughs> this is what I'm getting, this is why I have such conflict with these names that, that Ben Sarah given, uh, has given these fragrances. But again, I laugh because it's a surprise. It's a surprise, and so, you know, it's fresh, it's citrusy, it's bright. Again, making you feel confident to wear it. This one I would wear day or night. It is fresh, it, it doesn't have mint, but I think the mint aspect of this is the brightness of mint. And so if there's mint in here, uh, I think it's what's making the fragrance uh, brighter. Um, the oud in here is on the back end, maybe as a, you know, as a backbone to the fragrance but it's definitely never overpowering, never like that. I think you do have some woody uh, aspect to this fragrance, and I think that's on account of the oud, but you have some vetiver in here. Um, man, you have some amber in, in this fragrance, and you have coriander as well at the very top, and almond, I think uh, one of the key, key, uh, uh, key notes on uh, one of the Guerlain Cologne, uh, the Guerlain uh, Lomi Dial Cologne is almond. And this is definitely has that in it at the very top. And I think it stays, stays throughout. I think I smell almond here all the way through. And I love the brightness of this fragrance. I'm definitely wearing this with shorts. I'm definitely wearing this with a t-shirt. It is definitely super good, especially if you're gonna be sitting around other people in your summer beach chair. This is definitely something I want to wear then, or maybe you're at the bar, maybe you're at the, you know, a uh, 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 bench table, and so you want to smell fresh, even though it's like 98 degrees out. This one will definitely make you feel like you're cooler, you're nice and cool, uh, and that's on the count of the brightness of this fragrance. I love it. There's a floral aspect to this fragrance, but again, it's never leaning either way and it just makes the fragrance, you know, definitely sensual. All of these fragrances are definitely sensual, and I think that's what Mancera carries out throughout their line uh, with the floral aspect of it, and I think they play that really well with the floral aspect of, the, of their fragrances because it never goes too deep. Well, there are others that are definitely deeper in, in the floral sense, but I think they always manage to keep that floral aspect very, very central. And I like that in this one. Now, here comes my number one or the last one on this list, uh, which I think is my number one for the summer in the Mizera lineup. And I want you to at least get yourself a 5ml decant or something. Um, Crystal Fragrances sells them for a very good price, the decants, and um, definitely worth a check. I'm gonna leave a link below 
crystalfragrances.com uh, because uh, I know you'll be able to get it for a good price and you'll be happy with her service. Oh my God, this one here, Manzera, Sicily, citrusy, sweetness. There's some fruits in here at the very top. You cannot go wrong, guys. Um, just get it. <laughs> what can I say? I want you to get it. I want you to have this. I want you to experience this. This is citrusy, lemony, not lemon pledgy, not in that sense. It's very bright. It's very comfortable. It is a very closer scent. Um, Right now I have it in my hands. There's some, um, it's actually on the floral side of this, uh, but um, it's still citrusy and good and comfortable. I feel so relaxed when I wear this fragrance. I can wear this throughout the whole day. You could wear this at night right after taking a bath. I'm not, I'm enough said about that. I think, you know, I, I'm not gonna be, I'm not wrong about these fragrances. These are, you know, my top five for the summer. Uh, you can't go wrong with these fragrances. Sicily is something that I love and um, ever since I've, I've gotten in my collection, um, you know, it's, it's definitely a summer go-to. So I want you to check these out. I want you to tell me what's, what other Mancera fragrances you like to hear. I know it's summer, but if you want to hear something that's more for the winter or for the fall, I definitely welcome those ideas. I definitely have some more Manceras that are richer, deeper, uh, beast that project and are compliment monsters because that's what they do best. I love Mancera for that and they're back to your buck. You can get them for a good price and you can definitely shop them around and I, I think that's worthy, you know, uh, of, of at least uh, a check. So I thank you for coming. Hit the thumbs up. Uh, hit the like button. Uh, it definitely helps me, you know, continue supporting the channel. Uh, it makes me super happy when you do so. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again. Keep fragrance. Take care, guys. Bye.